Great day everyone, welcome to another OBS tutorial on this channel and in today's video I would like to show you top 5 free plugins for OBS that will rapidly improve the quality and level of your live streams and recordings. So let's go for it. Okay, so first of all, we got here item vertical plugin. Long story short, this is the plugin that will add the vertical canvas into your OBS. Thanks world, you can not only record and live stream your videos and live streams in horizontal 16 to 9 videos, but thanks this canvas, you can also do this in 9 to 16 vertical resolution. As a bonus, you can also link the scenes from your vertical plugin with your normal OBS. Thanks what? in case you will switch between the scenes, it will switch the scenes at the vertical plugin as well. So in case you would like to use webcam only scene, you can do this. In case you would like to use the gameplay and webcam, you can do this as well. And of course, you can also set up the hotkey. Thanks what? by one click, you can easily change between the scenes at the same time at the horizontal canvas, same as at the vertical. But as I dedicated already one long form video for this specific plugin you can simply check it out for more info or just find out the link for download in the description of this video okay the second free plugin that i got here for you today is downstream gear thanks this plugin you can easily set up various overlays plugins pop-ups or alerts that you want to keep at the top above all of your scenes Therefore, in case you would like to keep up some source about all of your other sources, never mind in which scene, you can use this plugin. Come with me, I will show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so for downstream key air plugin, you can simply go towards this web page. Link will be, of course, in the description of this video. And then you can click on this icon of the download. Then you will simply choose whether you want to download it for Linux, Mac OS or Windows. In my case, I will go with Windows and I want to go with the zip one, not the installer. So download. As it's already downloaded, I can open it up. Then I will simply open the folder in which I got installed my OBS and I will simply select all of those folders and drag and drop it into my folder like this and the plugin is already installed okay so now when the obs is already opened we can simply add the downstream key air plugin towards the obs for this simply go towards the docs at the top left and you will click on downstream here as you can see new pop out window simply appeared you can simply drag it and drop wherever you want around the obs in my case i would like to put it right next to the big screen like this okay now let's just quickly set up some scenes okay now i simply set there a few scenes so i can show you what it actually does this is simply capturing the background and this one is capturing the webcam now we got here the downstream here at the top right in my case let's say that i want to add here my socials that will pop up at the top of the stream and it will be at the top about all of my scenes so in my case it's going to be tagged for my eggs but in your case it can be various kind of overlays or alerts or webcam or anything else so for this i will simply create new scene x i will add here what i want to add towards the downstream here in my case is the image of my social and then i will simply go to downstream here and i will click on plus now as you can see the x scene appeared at the downstream here and now i can simply go to all of my scenes and this one layer will be above all of them so whether i will go to my webcam to my background or anything else everywhere will be this one downstream gear in case you would like to pause it you can simply click here at this pause button and it will disappear and in case you would like to show it once again on stream you can simply click on this source like this you can set up various transitions for this downstream gear as well also be aware that you can simply add here multiple downstream gear elements between which you can easily switch or you will go towards this setting icon and you will click for add and here for example let's say that we want to have camera and now i will simply put here my camera so i will once again click on this plus as you can see the camera appeared at this downstream gear so now as you can see at every scene where i will go it will be at the top but how can i actually use this with my camera so i will just now pause this downstream gear for my camera at the moment and now i want to duplicate my camera so first of all what i want to do is i will minimize that let's say that there is something in my background game or whatever okay i will put my camera here and then i will duplicate the scene camera 2 
and I will simply change the position of the camera. Now I will simply add the camera to towards the downstream here as well. Now the camera will be always at the top and I can go for example towards this scene and I can have whatever at the background and I will simply change the position of the camera just by one click. Of course, there are multiple more ways how you can use this plugin. You can set their warriors alerts or overlays or anything else. Put there many more of the downstream here elements. And as you can see, basically you can have turned on multiple of those cards at the same time, but you cannot have turned on more at the one folder at the same time. So in the end, it's up to you. You have to combine it and learn how to work with this by yourself. In the end, I believe it's great plugin in case you know how to use it properly. The third free plugin that I'm going to show you today is Waveform, thanks which you can easily visualize whatever kind of sound, whether it's your microphone or just music in the background, as a waveform on your live stream. Come with me, I will show you how to download it and what I'm talking about. In case you would like to download the Waveform plugin, you can simply go towards this webpage this time, once again, link in the description, and then you will go towards the go to download. You will scroll down and here once again you can find the multiple downloads for the Mac OS Ubuntu and in my case I'm going with this one. Once again as it's downloaded you will simply open it and you will select all of those folders and drag and drop them towards your original OBS folder where your OBS is installed. Okay, so as your OBS is already running and we got installed our waveform plugin, you can simply go to any of your scene, for example, this one, then you will simply click on this plus to add new source and you will click on waveform visualizer like this. Now you'll simply choose the audio source. In my case, I'm going to put here the desktop audio that you cannot hear in your recording. But as you can see here at the bottom, we are listening to some music at the background. So I will simply right click properties. I will choose here audio source. I will go with desktop audio. And now we can see here already waveform. And now we can simply play with all of the settings around audio offset, target volume, normalization, maximum gain, and all of those. Whether we want to have the curve, the bars or whether we want to have the level meter waveform like this okay step bars like this let's say that we want to keep it like this 24 bars bar gap step width everything you can set there to fit your stream to fit your needs you can set there the video high you can set there the channel mode colors and many 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 more so let's say that i want to go with this color Let's say I want to use it in this way. And yeah, that's actually what you can use for your stream. You can change the opacity, you can put it behind your webcam or anything else. But I think this is really useful and beautiful plugin for your stream, mainly in case you are listening to some music or anything at the background. And also, of course, in case you would like to, you can click here on the radial layout. Thanks, what? it will be in circle. Therefore, in case you have any source in the circle, your webcam or anything, you can put it around. Also, of course, you can invert it. Therefore, the sound will not go inside, but it will go outside. Therefore, you can put the source behind your webcam or anything and it can simply looks beautifully. Now, as you can see here, the waveform, try to guess in the comment section what kind of music I actually listen to during this tutorial. Let me know in the comment and now let's move on for the another free plugin for the OBS. The fourth free plugin that I'm going to show you today is FreeFX, which is basically free clone of the StreamFX, but yeah, thanks to this plugin, you can easily add Wario's effects towards your live stream, like blur, sharpen, color grading, source mirror, drop shadow, outliers, dynamic mask, and many, many more. So come with me, I will once again show you where to find it, how to download it, install it, and where you can find all of those effects. In case you want to download the FreeFX plugin, you can simply go towards this website page link will be in the description of this video once again and then you will click here on the go to download here you can simply click on this plugin zip it will download and then once again same as before simply select and drag and drop towards your original OBS studio folder where your OBS is installed. Okay, so now as we are already in the OBS, we can easily use all of the effects that are coming with this plugin. So for example, let's say that I want to add some effects towards my webcam. For this, I will simply right click on my webcam source. 
I will go to filters and then you can add here various effects. So when you will click here on plus, you can see all of the effects you can easily add. Some are in default, some are added towards the object with this plugin. For example, blur, color grading. Let's say that I would like to change the color of my camera or whatever. Okay. So here it comes with various effects. Okay. You can add blur towards your background. Okay. So of course I will show it to you on my webcam, but as you can see, you can easily use it for any of your sources in your OBS. You got here 3D transforms, thanks which you can easily move and change the side and positions of your webcam. Thanks what you can easily adjust various sources in your OBS to various objects. For example, I could put my Twitch chat on this shelf or whatever else okay but at least you know what i'm talking about and there are many 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 more effects that will make your stream more interesting as soon as you will find out what they can do and basically in case you would like to have one specific long form video for this free plugin itself just let me know in the comment section i would go through everything what is added thanks to this plugin and how you can utilize it for your stream before we are done with this plugin, there is one more feature that you can easily use for your live streams. That is mirror source feature. Basically, if you don't know, when you will apply some kind of filter towards any of your source in the OBS, so let's say I will go to this color grading and I will put here uh, this purple filter, okay? So let's say I apply this filter. Now, wherever I will go to any of my scenes, anywhere where my camera will be, so add source, video capture, blah, blah, blah. Let's add this. Everywhere where I will add this source, it will be with the same filters as it has been set. But I will now simply for a second turn off those filters. And now I will not add this video capture device, but I will click on plus, source mirror, call it camera, click on OK. Now I'm going to choose which source I want to use here. In my case, it's going to be video capture device source, this one. I will click on OK. And now when I will add various filters towards this mirror source. So for example, let's add here color grading, this one, drag this, close. So now when we add the filters towards this source mirror, when I will go back to normal camera, voila, there is no filter added. So in the end, not only that this plugin is coming with the ton of the special effects that you can add towards your stream, it also comes in with the 3D effect and also coming with the source mirror effect, what are basically two other plugins that you would have to download separately. But in this way, you got all of those in this one plugin. Okay, and last but not least, we got here RTP and plugin for multi-stream. Thanks which, as it's already in the name, you can easily multi-stream from single OBS to multiple platforms at once. Therefore, in case you would like to stream to Twitch, to Kick, to YouTube, to whatever else, all at the same time from one single OBS, you can use this plugin. Also, with the combination with the first plugin I showed you, you can easily combine it with vertical live streams as well. Therefore, you can simply live stream from one single OBS towards almost all all of the live streaming platforms at the same time. Okay, but as I already dedicated one long form video for this specific plugin as well, you can simply check it out for more info. Or once again, you can simply find the link for the download in the description of the video. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this video. Really hope you found here what you were looking for. Hope you are good and video fine. Thanks for watching and all of the support. And see you all next time.